All right, in this video we're going over question three from paper one for IB Math SL. Uh, this was the May 2015 exam, time zone two. This was a um, cumulative frequency curve question. Let's just change the setting so we can see this a little better. All right, so this is a cumulative frequency graph, um, basically a one variable stats question. And the variable that's been collected is the lengths of 160 fish. You can see that the top of the graph on the y-axis goes up to 160. That's because the y-axis is total frequency, um, cumulative frequency, up until that length. And the length is way down here on the x-axis. So to read this graph, um, you know, if I was to pull out a point, something like right here, just to illustrate what this graph tells us, that means that um, because that lines up with 30 on the y-axis, that means 30 fish, the y-axis being the frequency of fish, 30 fish measured somewhere less than two centimeters. Uh, so that's how we're going to use this graph to answer the questions that follow. So let's scroll down and see what some of the questions are. Find the median length of a fish. So that would mean if we ordered all 160 fish uh, by order of length, the middle fish in the pile of 160 or the line of 160, we would want to know that one's length and that would be our median. To get it from the graph, we just need to know the median on a list of 160 numbers falls roughly at the 80th number. Um, so we're going to go to find 80 on our y-axis. And we need to figure out what length corresponds with that circle right there. And this is the kind of work that you would want to show for a cumulative frequency graph question, either a circle or a line like this. And you can see that it's lining up directly above the 3. So the median length of a fish in this data set is 3 centimeters. That's worth two points. And then we have the following frequency table that corresponds with the same set of data. You can see that they've broken it out into 0 to 2 as the first interval, 2 to 3, 3 to 4.5, and 4.5 to 6 for the length of fish. And then the frequencies, we should be able to figure that out just by looking at the graph. So if you're looking for the frequency between 0 and 2 centimeters, that we've actually already pre-answered that question by explaining the graph at the beginning. So between 0 and 2 centimeters, we have up to 30 fish. So there are 30 fish that fall somewhere in this category. And then to figure out Q, which I assume if I scroll down is what this question is asking. Yes, indeed. So the value of P we just found. And remember that when the command is right down, the picture or the uh, information that's given in the question should be enough to just answer it without showing any work. But a find that a find the value question, like in B2, typically requires that some work is shown uh, if you can find any work to show. So the value of Q should be pretty simple. If we know that there's a 30 here on the table and we know that the total frequency of fish was 160, um, the, the work to show is simply the equation that the sum of each of those numbers must equal 160. So 30 plus 50 plus Q plus 20, or some version of this equation, or some step of this equation must equal the total frequency. So here uh, we have 100 plus Q. Am I adding that right? 100 plus Q equals 160, and therefore Q equals 60. So that's one way to do it, um, to find the value of Q. And the other way to do it would be to look on the graph the same way we found um, the 30. So it's Q is between 3 and 4.5 centimeters. So between 3 and 4.5 centimeters on this graph, I'm going to have to scroll up a little higher to see it, 3 lines up here with the 80, but 4.5, which is here, a little bit off the page, I'm going to have to scroll up even further, lines up with a frequency of... 140, and you can see the distance between 80 and 140, and this is another way to show work for Q, would be 140 minus 80, which is 60, or show it on the graph. So your grader will be looking for either evidence on the graph of finding those two values, or the equation, algebraic equation that we showed in order to solve for Q down here. Either one of those would be worth the uh, additional three points, and that is all.